Joining me on the Russell Finex stand, and I'm here with Mike Gourlay. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You? Very well, thank you. Now, first of all, tell us a bit about Russell Finex. All right, so I've um, been operating for about 80 years now, uh, supplying a range of vibratory sieves, which you can see, hopefully, on our stand, and uh, filters as well. So ranges on the food industry, chemical, pharmaceutical. So, yeah, a whole lot, really. 80 years? 80 years, yeah. We've been... They pretty much look the same about 80 years ago as well. So, <laughs> no, they're good. They stand the test of time. So, yeah, long time. Absolutely. So what kind of applications and industries um, are these machines used in? Pretty much everything you can think of. If it comes in a liquid or powder form, um, you can sieve every powder. Something starts at a liquid or a powder at one stage. So um, anything, food, flour, liquid, gold powder, everything. So, yeah. Gold powder. I like the sound yeah, of that. Very expensive stuff. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so I know we're going to have a look at some of the machines and I'm going to leave you here and I'm going to pick up with your colleague, Lewis Barnes. So, Lewis, you're going to talk us through a couple of the machines that we have on the stand. Let's yep. start with this one here. What is this called and what does it do? Okay, so this is our liquid solid separator. So, essentially, you've got uh, an in-feed pipe at the top. Now, what we do is typically designed for wastewater applications. So, you've got an Archimedes-type screw that will drive solids up. You've got uh, nylon mesh baskets that are static, they don't move. So basically, your product will be driven up. Your undersize, i.e. your liquid in this case, will pass through, and your oversize will be driven up to the top and out this side. So basically, you're left with like um, solids one side, liquid on the other side. It was originally designed for the curds and whey industry. Ah, okay. Um, and what other applications are there for, um, for this besides that industry? Um, yeah, so typically, as I say, we're, we're getting a lot more into recycling industry now. So for waste water, obviously, it's such a commodity these days. It's, yeah. um, it is, it's a very useful application. So. And does this machine vary in size or is this kind of the size of it or do, do they come bigger or what? Yep, no, unfortunately, this is just one size. So we typically go from around 5 to 10 metres cubed an hour. Yeah. Depending on screen size, depends on mesh aperture size. We can go anything up to about 80 to 100 metres cubed an hour. Wow, so that's still a fair amount, isn't it? Yeah, that is, yeah. <laughs> OK, so let's move over to this machine here, which is emitting quite a strange noise. <laughs> it's very loud. Well, not loud, but kind of high-pitched frequency, isn't it? Yep, so that's what we call our uh, vibrosonic system. So basically, this is our um, Finex separator. It comes in a variety of different diameters, depends on your application, depending on screen size, depending on throughputs. What you've got is a motor mounted underneath with the top and bottom weight, so they're offset. So that creates the force to the screen. So we've got vertical movement, and we've also got horizontal movement, depending on how the product reacts on the screen. But the noise you can hear is our vibrosonic, so they pull sound waves through the screen. So typically, Powders that are, that are typically prone to mesh blinding uh, or pegging, if you like, that will stick into the mesh and reduce throughput rates and actually blind it. We put a vibrosonic probe on the screen which pulls the sound waves through. They help to clear the screen. So when you're screening anything down to about 20, 30, 40, 50 micron, it can get very tight. So, yeah, we'd always recommend having the vibrosonics just to aid the throughput. And uh, at the moment, you've got sequins. Yeah. <laughs> I'm imagining there are, again, many applications for this. Yeah, so the sequins are, are just for demonstration purposes. <laughs> but yeah, very, very variety of ap applications. We do a lot with um, going into the add additive manufacturing industry now. So we do a lot with titanium powders, aluminium powders, anything that's involved with that industry. We do a lot of plastic powders, um, powdered paints. So really it's separating by fine mesh separation an oversize from an undersize. Okay, and uh, I know that there's an award-winning unit yeah. on here that you wanted to talk about. Tell us about this. What does it do? Yes, okay, so this is our Russell Screen Changer. Now, we actually won the award, as you said, last year at the PPMA Awards for this. So I think it was the Innovation Award we won. So essentially what you've got, if we walk around, we'll show you a demonstration. Okay, so typically, as I say, we do this machine in, in a variety of different diameters. So we've got 30 inches, 40 inches, 48 inch, which you can see now, and also a 60 inch. Now, the pan work itself is very heavy. It's a two-man job, sometimes a three-man job. So what we did is we brought in what we call the Russell Screen Changer. Now, I'll just show you how it works. So at the minute, it's in the up position. So the idea is that when it's like this, you can lift the screen up and take it out. It's a one-man job for cleaning or, or if you're changing different aperture sizes for different applications. Yeah. And then we lower it down. So what we do is then put the clamp around and it's ready to go. Okay. 
then when we need to clean it or to lift the deck up, we'll just raise it again. It can lift a maximum of two decks per time, um, so it's, it's pretty good. As I say, at the minute we got one screen, but the, uh, the Finex Separate itself can lift up a variety of four different cuts. So if you've got a lot of screens, it's, uh, it can be quite problematic. Yeah, that's going to make life a lot easier, isn't it, with uh, lifting and, and moving these machines around? Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> that's the idea. Now, you mentioned that was an award-winning device, and I know that there's been some more awards. So I'm going to leave you here, Lewis, okay. and I'm going to go and find Mike again. Because over here, there are some very lovely, glittery trophies. Mike, tell us a little bit more about these. Yeah, so this was the PPMA Awards last night. Um, we were up for two awards and won two. Um, this one, the environmental one, is the first one of its type, so we won that. And the exporter one is actually the second in a row that we won, which is pretty good going, I think. So it was a pretty good night for you guys at the awards then? <laughs> great night, yeah. <laughs> Didn't expect it either, so yeah, it was great. Really good. Fantastic stuff. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to show us around your stand. Do pop down to Russell Finex to find out more about them.